Yeah, we, we did have some success, but felt like that it was uh, very labored and very hard, harder than it needed to be, and, and had constant frustrations with feeling like we were always having to go back and cover the same ground again and never really getting anywhere. Um, so really, uh, again, looking for a way to, to, to get some traction in our business, uh, not, not to use that cliche, um, but uh, yeah, that's what we felt like. Felt like we were just slipping and constantly having to, to, to recover the same ground again and, and needed something that was gonna provide the accountability and the structure for us to be able to grow um, and to achieve things um, with less effort and, and continue to push the envelope with what we could do. I started off in the military and then came to Townsend and in the military, you know, every, there's a worked out system for everything. It's a lot of uh, doctrine, you know, that you have to follow. So it's kind of conditioned to that. Um, being in, in business in the civilian world, particularly in the lumber world where uh, our customers tend to be um, very fast paced, but not planning very far ahead. And we're an industry that's really kind of slow to change and adopt you know, systems and technologies. And uh, so for me, you know, coming into this business, it's just a lot of chaos. And this, that's part of our, our, our core values, who we are, you know, at Townsend is, is bringing order to chaos. So having a system that you can run your business on kind of ensures that, you know, all the, all the cylinders are firing and everybody's pulling in the same direction all the time. And well, it's never gonna be all the time, but you can identify it quickly when it's not solve the issues and get back on track. It certainly helped, uh, helped me get more organized and, and help us identify uh, issues for each of the two facilities that I'm responsible for so that we can spend time and concentrate on solving those issues in particular, where in the past, you know, we didn't have an avenue for that. So this has created an avenue yeah. for that. Uh, this has allowed us to not be firefighters all day long this has allowed us to take care of those you know those issues that come up that are safety related that need to be handled immediately but this gives us a place to drop our issues and to get to our l10 meetings and then to work through those issues in a more comprehensive way so i think it's a product of the maturation of our leadership team uh it's uh, asking ourselves the difficult questions and at the, uh, at the end of the day find uh kind of presented what our unique abilities were. And, uh, you know, what came to the forefront was that, that I was, uh, that I needed to get out of the operations of, of uh, some of the things um, that I was handling. I needed to hand, hand those things off and, um, and be that role that I've actually been performing for years, but get rid of all the, all the noise that wasn't working. Well, it does two things. One, it creates accountability within the department, um, not only from subordinates, but also me as a leader of the department, holding me accountable to the things and the actions that our department's put, put in place. And it drives conversation. Every Friday, we put out a, a, a weekly market report um, to our customers. We get that in the hands of our sales team, um, you know, with supply chain issues, obviously surrounding our industry right now. Driving conversation is key. Oh gosh, it's changed. It's completely changed what I've felt as possible. Um, really, looking back, kind of our vision from two, two and a half years ago was really small compared to what it is now. Another thing I've seen as an owner, I've, I've seen people on our leadership team um, really take ownership in the company and start um, providing vision for us. So everything's not just coming from me and from Turner. Other, other members of our leadership team providing that vision and saying, hey, we can do this or we can do that. And so it's been exciting for me to see them take take that ownership, um, that pride in, in, in providing the vision and actually, actually working to uh, on themselves to see it, see it accomplished. I had, in, in all the um, previous positions I've had, I've always had a weekly meeting with my staff and demanded that the, the managers and or the directors have weekly meetings with their staff, but never in, in, a, in a structured format like this. And uh, it took, took about three months to get used to it. And um, I think the, the toughest thing was not going down into the tangents 
and uh, and getting off base. And but but once uh, once I got into the rhythm of that, it, it, it made more sense than, than any other meeting I've ever done. Uh, I think I think Cohen um, gets business. Um, I think he gets people. Um, he brings a certain level of energy and accountability to the equation that um, I don't think we provided ourselves. Um, and he gets traction. I mean, he, he understands it um, and knows it inside and out and just brings a level of expertise that, again, that we, we didn't have and, and has really helped kickstart it for us. Yeah, so I think when you find that third party person that's really a good cultural fit for you, they can come in. They're not, they have no agenda. They're not involved in the politics of last week and last month, and um, they ask the tough questions. I think that's one thing Cullen does an excellent job with, is ask the tough, uncomfortable questions that, uh, that, that we're not doing, and model that behavior that we really need to be doing week in, week out in our L10 meetings. And, uh, you know, and it's just, it's really sharpening us. And, I, you know, I really look forward to continuing the relationship. Extremely professional, keeps our, our meetings moving uh, uh, very smoothly, uh, doesn't allow us to get off on tangents that would take up a lot of time. Uh, those are, people who have done EOS know how bad tangents can be. Uh, but when you get together in a room for half a day or for a full day or for a two-day meeting, it's important to keep the flow, keep the process moving, and that, that's, what, that's what Cullen has enabled us to do. Has a really, really good talent for um, the making, making a team work. Like, like you kind of blend into the background when you need to, when you need to, to step in and kind of get things back on track, you can real quickly identify that and, uh, you know, kind of diplomatically move the conversation along the way it's supposed to and it doesn't get, you know, bogged down or sidetracked here and there, you know. And then just, you know, the, the level of expertise that you have on, on the system that would take us, you know, because we're, we're trying to work on the business not the EOS system at the same time. Like it would take us so many years to get to that same level. And we're never gonna go see another company doing the same thing. So we're, you know, we're not gonna have that experience. And, and being able to bring all that together, that, that outside experience, the knowledge of the, of the actual system itself, and then that ability to actually like kind of coach the team through these things in just a really smooth way. Um, so it's a unique skill set to me. So.